All right, it is currently 3.30 in the morning, and uh, I'm gonna get up and start getting rolling here. I have to do something very important before we leave, and that is uh, shampoo my hair uh, one last time. So I'm gonna break out the crazy clarifying shampoo and uh, get set for the great cut. I'm gonna get myself a little more put together and uh, get ready to fly out of Minneapolis, St. Paul for the first time. Head out to San Diego, California for the great cut. I hope you'll join me for this adventure. And we'll see what this brings. So we'll see you at MSP. Let's go. All right. I don't know if I've ever taken a longer shower in my life. Um, we're dialed. Hair is shampooed twice. Conditioned, ready to go for tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm stoked. Okay. It's four o'clock in the morning. Chill. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a few more things together and uh, get ready to head out. Get over to the airport and uh, get in the air for this thing. All right, we made it to MSP, got through security. I have to give a shout out to the lady that was helping out. It was just very uh, smooth. Sometimes traveling with uh, cane or extra bits and bobs, it can be a little bit of a, a hassle, but it was just very, very easy to get through. We are through and we got about uh, an hour and 40 minutes or so till we board. So we're gonna check things out at the airport, but uh, thumbs up so far, we're, uh, we're rolling. All right, just doing some exploring here, checking out the airport a little bit. We'll probably find our gate and get settled, and we have about you know, 45 minutes or so until we uh, get ready to board, so just checking things out. It's a cool airport. I like the design of it. seems pretty uh, well laid out. Actually, from an accessibility standpoint, it seems fairly navigable. Um, we were kind of looking at a map and checking things out a little bit, but cool airport, definitely better than flying out of O'Hare or uh, Milwaukee, which are the ones I'm used to. Uh, so, so far, 10 out of 10 for uh, MSP. All right, welcome to San Diego for real. We are on a boat because this is like the boat to them. The first uh, outfit to come to off San Diego, which is super cool. We are at the uh, Maritime Museum here. We're gonna check out a bunch of boats. We'll probably have to come back here. There's so much uh, to check out, lots to do in San Diego. So let's do it. Check this out. We found the blind burrow. That's pretty good. 10 out of 10. We might have to stop here just for that. That's pretty sick. Made it. Got in for our cottage. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here at Sun Outdoor San Diego. We got a uh, meet and greet event here in a little while. And we'll see what we get up to tonight and tomorrow. Get ready for the great cut. Let's go. area here it's funny because i live in a studio apartment so it's like it's like that it's like cozy and small um and then the fun one is up these stairs so I don't break my shins Ooh. there's two beds up here i want to be five and sleep up here it's like a fort like someone built a, a secret spot so you got those um just two of us in here so not uh not too crazy that way Myself turned around without uh, falling down a flight of stairs to kick off the trip and then uh, bathroom is right there and then we have a uh, kind of a kitcheny area here and then there's the out here it's kind of a, like living room situation I like all the lights and it's funny it smells very new in here like all the wood you know feels like they were just uh, in here building it I don't know how long these uh, cottages or this facility in particular has been open but uh, first impressions are right there I mean this is awesome and uh, we're gonna get ready to go get things started and uh, had the chance to do a little bit of blocking around uh, the downtown area I've got a couple pictures I'll throw up right now um, nothing crazy but we went uh, to the Maritime Museum got on some of the boats and we're looking at a few things uh, we also went down to the uh, gas lamp district and did some exploring. Uh, I've got some clips of that. And all of those things we're hopefully gonna get a chance to go back and do a little bit later on. So that's the plan there. And other than that, I mean, we're just gonna see where this kind of trip takes us. Beyond the Great Cut itself, we don't have a lot planned. So um, just kind of gonna go and uh, see what we get up to. Friday night had a chance to connect with some different people from all different areas of what's going to be tomorrow's event. 
and that ranges from hair donors to parents of kids who have been hair recipients from CWHL uh, to members of the long hairs community themselves and just really great to get the chance to sit down and chat with everybody in a little bit of an extended format over a couple drinks and it was a blast and looking forward to tomorrow i am haircut block number one so we'll see what happens real early tomorrow morning i'm gonna look drastically different the next time y'all probably see me unless i film something tomorrow morning but really looking forward to it great cut 2024 it's very real it's very close it's very gonna happen let's do it Ready for the great cut we're gonna figure out this trolley uh that'll take us from where we're staying to downtown i had some trouble with the app um but for five o'clock in the morning uh, we'll figure it out <laughs> um uh, i uh last night was awesome cool to connect with people and i'm sure today's going to be more of the same i'll try to uh get clips when and where i can and we'll see i've been uh a little skimpy on the vlogging so far so i gotta be on that but yeah let's do this i'm, I'm stoked let's go all right we're here time to get checked in See y'all on the other side of the Great Cut. Right, we are in there setting up and we're gonna kind of check out some of the things around uh, before I get set to cut my hair. Let's do it. Are you gonna get that in? Are you okay? That's okay. A little snarly with the curl. I tried to comb it out this morning. Apparently it didn't work. Yeah, curl hair is that way. I'm here with uh, this is Jessica, she's doing a donation. Um, Jessica, you want to tell everybody uh, where you are and where they can find you? Because thanks for coming out and doing this. Yeah, so I'm from Dermatex here in San Diego. We are a non surgical hair replacement studio. So oh, cool. this is very close to our heart because this is what we do. Sure. Um, we work very closely with John Renault in regards to doing wigs for kids. Sure. And um, anybody, really. Sure. Anybody that does that. So it's an honor to be here and it's an honor to cut this hair. Awesome. Thank you so much. Whoa, Chris, what the heck? This is crazy. I gotta give a huge shout out to Dominic here. You wanna tell us where people can find you because you made me look like an absolute legend. Yes, yeah, sir. So you can find us in Little Italy, San Diego, Lions, Maine, uh, Grooming, Barbaco. You know, we on the next level. So if you're looking for that next level service, you will not find a better place than our shop, I promise you. Lions, Maine, Grooming Co., Barbershop. Go. That next Little level Italy. service right here. I just got it. So yes, sir. I can vouch yes, for him. Awesome. Thanks. 14 inches here. That is wild. Oh, I'm accidentally taking a video. Well, 14 yeah, inches of hair, we'll take that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for measuring. That's awesome. You're welcome. Got 2.8 ounces of hair. All right. Awesome. You and me, we are. Jefferson is rocking the stage out here. We are the same. We are more the same than you may think. Yeah. Sergio Gutierrez and his band That's taking stuff. the stage right us back. Welcome aboard the Spirit of San Diego. We're going on a bay tour of the South Bay. I know, I forgot where I was going. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Whatever, We're about to find about. out though. All right, let's do it. Going. So, as we uh, depart here, we're going to be cruising right by the venue at Brooklyn Pier. Hello to everybody attempting the world record.
donating out here for the great cup. It's awesome. Like that, we're back to the great cut and back the spirit of San Diego. Awesome stuff. Oh, hey. Lindsay here swung his around. It was awesome. It was like I thought he got, got his. Okay, here we go. Here Whoever's on stage right now, we see you. Four, three, two, one. Uh, the same place that uh, my guy. Oh, of course. Thank you for telling me that. He's about to. Uh, my hand cold. He being Jose. Let's get his haircut. For our next hair donor, Jose El Cicarino. Do you have any words to say before? Yeah. Just give. There it is, folks. Are you going to be completely bald when this is done? As the day I was born. Yeah! Five, four, three, two, one! Hey! Let's go! Master the glory. That was just a lemonade I was drinking, Jose. That was just a delicious lemonade. Okay, so Houston, we have a problem. My phone no longer recognizes my face. I can't unlock my phone. That's hilarious. We're looking at the silent auction. It's gonna be a vibe here at the Great Cut all night. Let's see what goes on. This guy's slapped, come on. Rubio, Rubio, Rubio. <laughs> hey! Most of the things that we needed in the cutting zone and helped with the planning along Yeah. The Let's go. Woo! Yeah! Do it! Susie Pond from Bob Beauty. Cutting El Rubio. Ten. Nine! announcement this band is the last one of the night all the bands that they booked for this are awesome we're gonna be adding them to our uh, following for music for sure and uh, ready for the big thing did we do it did we do it we'll find out So, at this moment, in time, the current world record holders are the long hairs with 339 pounds of hair donated in 2019. Today we had an enormous amount of donations in person 
far more than we had expected or that we achieved in 2019. At this moment in time, we are still weighing hair. Yeah. Oh. It's uncertain where the where where it's gonna land. <laughs> All right. So it's unknown. We will hopefully find out maybe tomorrow, but we're uh, being played out here by Tim Flannery and the Lunatic Fringe. I don't, I don't really have good words to describe it. That was just an unreal thing to be a part of, and uh, whenever they do it again, I'll be back for sure. Uh, the growing starts now. Hair's growing right now on top of my head, and uh, next great cut, I'm there. So, I have more from San Diego, but it was amazing.